Today we're taking a look at Grand Classics Grooming's Texture Bomb. This is an oil-based clay. They're based out of Australia, and we're gonna dive right into this one. Uh, first things first, got a new uh, camera angle going on here. If you prefer this version, kind of let me know in the comments. If not, we might switch back to the other one. But this allows us to take a little bit better look at the actual packaging. So first things first is their whole lineup is kind of based off of race car culture, mainly classic race car design. So they went with your traditional uh, metal tin and the inspiration for this logo is I believe some sort of Shelby Mustang from the 60s or 70s. Overall, I like the, over, the entire aesthetics of it. It's got a great old classic feel and the metal tin fits perfectly in that uh, aesthetic. Uh, we got information on the top on what the product is, size, that kind of thing. Directions, hold, shine, uh, ingredients and everything like that on the bottom. Hopefully it focuses out. So overall, I really enjoy the packaging. I think it works really well with their overall branding. Next, let's open up the jar and take a, take a look at the actual scent of the product. I got this one a few months ago and they were offering an Aventus scent. So overall, this is one of my favorite scents. It's very citrusy. It's got a little bit of a clone musk to it and the combination just works really well. It's light, it's fresh, um, and you can't go wrong. Honestly, uh, I wish this was a little bit stronger out of the jar because the ingredients do mix with it. You can kind of smell the waxes and the oil in combination with the actual scent. Um, additionally, if you're not a huge Aventus fan, they do offer some other uh, scents to look at. I know uh, the flagship scent for it is a coffee coconut, although I have not smelt that one before. We're gonna take a look at the actual scoop of it. So as we see, it's a classic oil-based looking product. It doesn't really have much of a sheen. That's the clays kind of acting in there. The scoop on it, is a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. If you're gonna complain about the scoop on something like this, uh, I think you have better things to worry about. Maybe go to the gym a little bit, that kind of thing. Once it's in the palms, it does have a initial stickiness to it of a classic oil base, but you can feel the overall grit of the product while in the hands, but overall it's quite smooth. The dark color that we saw before doesn't uh, stay, so if you have lighter hair like myself, you won't be staining your hair or anything like that. Going into the actual application, it is quite smooth, uh, especially considering um, how hard it is to scoop out. I find that oil-based clays kind of move in that direction where they might be hard to initially scoop but as soon as you're through that process, they tend to glide right in. So the first scoop here kind of adds a little bit of texture. You could leave it like this if I tame the sides a little bit, uh, but we're gonna go in with the second scoop here to just get a little bit more hold. One thing about uh, oil-based clays, especially if you have finer hair like myself where greasy products can really start to show the scalp and things like that, Start to go with smaller scoops and work your way up. What that'll do is it'll allow the, the actual oils and everything to have time to absorb a little bit more. And then you don't have as much of a greasy factor, especially as the clays start to absorb things more, get a little bit more air out of the system or into the system. It just works much better that way. So I'm gonna kinda touch things up, fast forward a little bit, finish with styling, and then we're gonna jump in and talk about the actual performance aspects. So now that we're done styling, we can kind of look at the uh, final result here. Overall, 
we get a medium to firm hold of this stuff. It's not super uh, crazy strong hold, but it, it will hold the hair in place. The actual uh, weight and present of the product is kind of in that middle tier range of products. So it's not really lightweight, but it's not gonna overly weigh down your hair. You'll find that this is a distinct oil-based clay um, experience. You get the smoothness of the actual oils and the waxes combined with the grittiness from that, the clays. It creates a, a very diverse sense of texture, or at least uh, I get that out of my current cut as well as when I had longer hair. That works extremely well whether you're um, outside doing things or you're just in an office setting. It, it just works really well. The overall control of this product works quite well. It's not grippy in the casual sense, so it has a little bit of grippiness simply from the clays themselves, but the product is smooth in the hair. So you're not gonna get too much tugging or pulling, but the clays are gonna help build a little bit of a structure and the actual oils, waxes kind of thing are gonna give you the actual hold that you need. So it works very well for both shorter hair and longer hair styles. Um, moving on to the actual uh, shine of the product. I would call this a matte product, maybe not initially. Initially, you might have a touch of a natural sheen to it. And um, that's kind of aids where I said before, kind of use the smaller scoops so you don't have as much greasiness, as much oiliness, and that'll start to dampen. And as you go through the day, I would say 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, it's 100% matte, that shine pulls away, the clays kind of absorb that slight amount of moisture. Um, but the best thing about this product is easily, without a doubt, the endurance of this stuff. If you haven't tried oil-based clays, that's kind of where they really excel, is in the endurance or aspect of things. This thing will pretty much last you through anything. High temperatures, uh, windy days, excessive exercise, that type of thing. This will stay and remain present with your hair pretty much entirely throughout the day. And is, is one of the reasons why I seem to really move towards this product and choosing it during my kind of weekly uh, activities. It's, it's something that I find is extremely reliable. Um, finally, Washout, one thing about oil-based products is generally the washout uh, can be a struggle. You have to use a little bit of conditioner, that kind of thing. Surprisingly, surprisingly with the, the added clays and everything from this stuff, you can get about 70%, 80% of it with just water. And then from adding shampoo, you'll simply strip the rest of it out. But overall, this is one of my favorite products. It's something I, I brought on vacation with me a few months back. It's always reliable, has a decent amount of hold, just enough to pretty much deal with anything. And then high texture, and finally that endurance, so you're, you're not screwing around all day having to add new products or anything like that. And just the benefit that it's not greasy is pretty um, astounding for an oil-based clay, especially if you've used quite a few of them. So just recapping everything, it's just an excellent experience and something that I highly recommend. Again, Grand Classic Grooming. I'll link everything below in the description so you can take a look at the actual products and everything else they offer. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll be back next week with another video. See you guys later.